guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're gonna do a, um, I don't know, kind of a springy, primitive uh, decor with this cute little wagon. I thought it would be cute um, for spring. And so, I'm, but I'm gonna decorate it up more as a primitive uh, type of thing with a light and everything. So I'm not even gonna worry about the green. I'm going to be covering it up with this uh, strip of burlap that I have and it covers um, I've already checked it and it covers the wagon very well. Not that I don't like the green. I like it um, But I want it more rustic primitive um, Decor So I'm gonna put that on there. I have this light and bulb little uh, silicone dipped bulb and I'm gonna try, I'm not sure, but I have this uh, windmill, top of a windmill. It's actually a Christmas decor, and I think I got it on clearance from Tractor Supply. Um, but I'm going to try to figure out how to um, get it to stick onto this light fixture. But first what I wanna do is, this has got rust on it. So what I wanna do is make this part, this white part on here, look more like it's supposed to go with that. So I'm gonna make it rusty. And I'm gonna use this Rust-Oleum multicolored uh, textured spray paint. Um, so this is gonna look like, where's my cap? Oh, here it is. So this is gonna look like, um, kind of like rusty textured brown paint. Um, so it's it's got black flecks in it, brown, like a lighter brown. I really love this stuff. And they have a one that's uh, more of an off-white color that you can get with the darker flecks in it too. Um, I don't have any of that right now, um, but I do have this. And so I think it's gonna go really good with this and make it look like um, the stand is a little bit rusted, but it's in. And then eventually I'm going to um, E6000, probably this to the stand, to the light stand, and then also the light to the, um, wagon, and then I'm going to decorate around it, and so that's what I'm going to be doing today, so if you're interested in seeing it, stick around. Okay guys, so I'm sorry but I didn't get any video of me spray painting this. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't turn the camera on. But I did two coats, light coats on there. Uh, if you try to do it all at once, it doesn't cover very well. So I just did a coat, let it dry just a few minutes, and then did a second coat and got that on there so that it covered very well. So it looks pretty cool. So here I'm just putting on my uh, burlap. I don't know where I got this, but it's got Velcro on it, like a tie back type, and that's probably what it is, but it fits perfect. So here I'm going to take my E6000 and glue that windmill top right on the top of that light. So I'm squirting that on and putting some on my, with my uh, hot glue gun so it'll stay quicker and hold. And then uh, what I did was I flipped it over and I just kept adding more glue to get it to stay. While I was waiting for that to kind of dry up a little bit uh, and stick, I cut up some uh, foam to put in. I'm just going to glue it down in the bottom uh, once I put the light in, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm just uh, E6000 and then some hot glue. The hot glue helps it stick quicker and then the E6000 will slowly um, dry and that'll stick really really good once it dries. So I'm just going around and making sure I put in a really good layer in there. Then I put the foam in and then of course I put the light bulb in and wanted to make sure that it still worked. And it did. 
So I have a little piece of garland uh, pit berries left. These are the burgundy ones. And so I decided I wanted to use those in my wagon. So I'm just undoing the garland, each piece, taking them off and wrapping them around my scissors and kind of giving them a little bit of a fluffier, fuller look. Um, these have the rusty stars on some of them as well. I just left them on. Sometimes I take them off. It all depends on what I'm doing, but I just left them on. I thought it added to the rusty look of the windmill. And so I just did almost all of them. I twirled them around and around my scissors. I did leave a couple uh, undone and just put them in the back to kind of stand up and give it a little height behind the light. So I took some of my moss and put that in around so that it, it would cover up the inside of the wagon and the, the foam that was in there and um, I think it just adds a finishing touch to the inside of the wagon for sure. Uh, and then I decided it needed some stuff on the outside so I found some material that um, I really liked. Uh, I didn't have any of the small checked burgundy which I really like so I just thought I'd go with a black checked burgundy um, and I thought that looked really pretty I love both of those different materials I have the bigger checks as well um, but I'm not as big of a fan of those as I am the smaller checks so so there we are <laughs> we have the smaller ones so I'm just uh, doing a little simple knot in the front and I'm going to glue that knot to uh, the wagon so that I can take this big rusty star and again bring in more of that rustiness. I'm having a hard time with my glue gun. I've had it for a really long time. I think it's just uh, ready to die on me. I don't know, but I'm having a hard time with it. So, and it could be the glue sticks, I suppose. I don't know what brand they are. I don't know what it is, but anyway. Um, so I glued the star on. I went and got some skewers out of the kitchen and decided I was gonna take and bring up some of that checked material up into the inside of the wagon as well. Um, and here I am struggling with my glue gun again. I've got some others that are downstairs. I've got a brand new battery operated one that I haven't even got out to use yet. Um, so I'm just putting this, I'm, I'm gluing this onto the skewer and sticking them in like, kind of like little flags sticking out the top. Getting them all put in there. My star fell off again because I didn't put enough glue on. So I'm holding that on there. I'm doing some more of my skewers and I just sat back and looked at it for a second. I didn't like how you could see the white or the wood part of the skewer. So I took them out, broke them down again so that they would fit down in a little further. And that is that. And I think that's it. So Check out how it came out, guys.
watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.